So, we are here at the end of February 2022, and I'm going to start the gardening season with just an introduction to the wide variety of things we're going to try growing from seed, with more to come up later in the season. So, from left to right here, let me zoom in just a little bit. Yeah, we've got uh, cucumbers, which are supposedly something called Market More 70, cauliflowers, Snowball X, sugar peas, dwarf gray, bell peppers, and a couple different sunflowers from my 2021 grow, ones I'm calling Butterbloom 2021 and Honey Plume 2021. Some of my 2019 Cannabis Wildlings that I call Raven Plume Wildling 2019. Shasta Daisies and Broccoli uh, DeSico. Anyway, I already know that Sunflower Cannabis and Snow Pea Seeds will germinate fine in a cup of water, a technique I call Two Seeds One Cup. And so that's the only way I'll be doing those. With about half being germinated under darkness, what I call dark water germination, and the other half under normal wake up to bedtime lighting, now known as topside germination. So, snow pea. Let's see, I'll go ahead and crack the sunflower seeds before putting them in water. broccoli. And this one will be kept uh, under topside germination. In fact, uh, the stuff in this cap here will also be going in there. Now the cauliflower and the bell peppers are being done separately, mostly because it's almost, it's very difficult to tell the broccolis apart from the cauliflowers. So, we'll those topside, and we'll get some water in there when I get them moved into position. And then all that leaves is cucumber and the Shasta daisies. Cucumber... Okay, yeah, I'm also going to be uh, doing a set of some of these trying germination in a Ziploc baggie and wrapped in a damp paper towel. But uh, we'll get to that after I get the other stuff put in place. So I'm going to go ahead and have the cucumber share the baggie with the the cauliflower and bell pepper seeds. At least they're easy to tell apart. And then the Shasta daisy seeds are sharing the baggie with the broccoli. Yeah. So here's the topside germination uh, batch. 
in place and ready for nature to take its course. Likewise, we're keeping down here the dark waters. See which sprouts first, or if it even gonna really matter. And also, I think tomorrow I will be getting another little grow project started. The couple of We'll call them pet sunflowers. One should be a velvet queen. The other should be some other sort of red one. I'm just calling them nuts because the uh, package didn't even mention any uh, specific uh, species or strain. But also, I've got uh, these uh, two caps of seeds from my uh, 2020 sunflower grow are going to finally get put in cups of dirt so I can actually get them properly identified and then uh, what's left of their siblings mixed in with their 2021 counterparts. So with the dark water and topside group all set up uh, over there in my makeshift nursery it's time to get these last ones started using the uh, damp paper towel and baggie technique. So first I'm going to start with a single cucumber and followed by bell peppers and cauliflowers and they are all going to share one bag. So. So first, I'm going to go ahead and spray the towel that we'll be going into, nice warm water. And next, looks like I'm going to go ahead and do the bell peppers next. Hold it up. And in it goes. And then finally, for that bag, we do the cauliflowers. Again. Moisten the towel and just pour them in right now. And 
now we can distribute them sort of evenly here. That'll give each other room to grow. Or whatever. Not sure if that really matters. There. And it goes in the baggie. Oops. I see one cauliflower seed and a bell pepper seed escaped. Okay, pausing to fix this. There, got that little oops fixed. And now we can finish up with the broccoli and the Shasta daisies. So we'll start with the broccolis. Here a little, just like it did the cauliflowers. And this time I'll tamp it down really good. And now we finish up with the Shasta Daisies. I tried a test run uh, shortly after I got the seeds, like, might have been back in November or December, I'd have to check, uh, probably my Amazon history is probably where I got them, but let's, I might not, just might not have done enough of them, so let's, again. There we go. Back it down. And bag it up. I'm hoping to have a few more things to try out this way soon, like maybe some lemon seeds or orange seeds, if they were orange I got go waiting downstairs, uh, actually has seeds. So that is what is cooking in the Raven Bloom Garden for 2022. And hopefully there will be more added into the mix as the season goes on and more different types of seeds draw my interest. Now, not all of these things are going to get major grow journal type coverage, but a few major items will, which will be posted here as they come up. But that is it for now. I'll check in on these in a few few days maybe. Thank you for checking this out and I hope you found it to be of some use. And beyond that, uh, feel free to check out uh, my sponsor, which is me, as I try to sell you stuff on my eCrater, eBit, and Etsy stores. Links are in the description, of course.